Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with my January favorites and it is so crazy that the first month of the year is over. Like that is just insanely crazy. Feels like just yesterday we were celebrating the new year and now we are about to celebrate Valentine's Day, which is so crazy. Um, my sweater says always on fleek. Hey, by the way, uh, just in case you guys were wondering, um, cause I did get some questions on Snapchat cause I just took a little bit of a, a high little snap session. I'm going to have my Snapchat right here just in case you guys want to follow me on Snapchat. And yeah, by the way, I am not feeling myself today like at all. I'm chewing gum, which I never do in any of my videos because I feel like it's distracting, but I don't feel like myself today at all and i feel like chewing gum helps me concentrate which is so weird but i don't know i think i read somewhere or one of my teachers in middle school or was it elementary i don't know one of my teachers used to pass out gum before starting a test just to help us concentrate so since i'm a little bit all over the place today i'm just everywhere hence hence the pillow hence the hair um i feel like i need a little push to concentrate so that's why I chew gum which if it's distracting I'm so sorry but this is probably the only way that I can get through the videos so um I do have some beauty favorites and I think I have two skincare favorites that I want to share with you guys and I also have a random favorite that I get so many questions on every single time I wear that particular item that I have to mention it in a favorites video so with that being said, let's jump right into it. I think I'm going to start off with the skincare stuff just because I only have two skincare items that I want to share. So I thought we can just roll with skincare today first for the first time. What? The first thing that I want to mention is the Rodan and Field Soothe Sensitive Skin Treatment. I did just do a skincare routine video in the beginning of the month, but I feel like I have to mention this again because this has completely healed my skin. I have super, super sensitive skin. Like my skin, any little thing can set it off into a complete breakout madness or I, can, I get high. I, my skin just does not like trying new things, but ever since I started using this, I can literally, and I'm not even being dramatic, I can literally try any single skincare product and my skin will absolutely love it. It has completely, completely, completely healed my skin and it is awesome. It's not a serum, it's not a lotion, it's more of like an in-between consistency and it has a luminosity to it that it is so beautiful. On the days that I only wear my skincare and I have nothing else, like no makeup, this peeks through and it just gives me a youthful, healthy looking glow that I just love. I don't think you can buy this individually. I do think you have to get the whole entire kit. I'm not really sure, so I'm going to leave the email to Jen. She's the girl that can actually help you out, get you started in a skincare regimen. You can also ask her if she sells this individually because if she does, you guys need to get this. This is amazing. This has completely changed my skin. It's changed the texture of the skin. It's just awesome. Like this is very, very good. Next thing, I have the Dr. Brandt. Yeah, the Dr. Brandt pores no more primer and I do have the tiny version of this because I did get this in a Sephora perks box I believe with a 500 point box from Dr. Brand and this was in there and I am so in love with it that I am going to go ahead and pick up the full size version of this. I first heard about this from Nicole Guerrero I believe here on YouTube and I actually owned it before that. I had gotten it like I said in one of those boxes and you know how we usually tend to throw away samples like admit it I'm guilty of it I will throw away samples like I wouldn't even look at them and for some reason I kept this one I guess because it said no pores no more something about pores and I tend to I have a drawer full of pore minimizing items so I hadn't used it and then I saw that she started using it and she says that she absolutely loved it so I was like you know what I'm gonna 
look through my sample box and I'm gonna find it and oh my god this is so good it is very similar in consistency and in color as the benefit professional but this is a little bit more this has a little bit more coverage I feel like this really seals those pores it really sinks in there and it kind of makes everything really even so I love this I actually wore this after I do my skincare I will go in with this and that's it I'm off to work I don't do anything else to my face because this gives me the perfect amount it's not it doesn't really add color to my skin like this is completely transparent like this is completely see-through but it makes everything really smooth it blurs everything out but it doesn't make you completely matte so it does fill in your pores, but it has such a silky consistency that it just looks so flawless on the skin that I love to wear this. I have it backwards. I love to wear this on its own. It is awesome. Like I really love this product. I feel like I said the same thing about the last two. It is awesome, but it really is a really good product. Next up, I want to talk about a foundation and I have been on a foundation kick recently. You guys know I've been struggling for a very long time to find a foundation that matches me because I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm like not in the center. I've been in a foundation kick recently. I've been trying so many different foundations to find one that I like. You guys know that I have been struggling with this for a very long time because I don't know what's going on, but my foundation is oxidizing on me like crazy. So I've just been looking for the perfect foundation that's not going to oxidize and it's also going to match my undertone and it's going to make me look flawless on fleek hey <laughs> so i have found one that i love and it is the cover effects full hold on the cover effects total cover cream foundation and i am in the shade g30 g40 is a little bit too dark for me and g30 can even sometimes be a little too light for me so i'm actually thinking about buying g40 and mixing them together to get my perfect shade but i absolutely love this foundation it is very very full covered it gives you that beautiful glowy luminous look without looking cakey it is very full coverage though like this puppy is very very high in coverage so if you have problematic areas if you have acne scars if you have a lot to cover you are going to love this so this is what the foundation looks like it does come in a pot you can either use a beauty blender your fingers or a brush it just depends on the coverage that you're looking for i have tried a brush and i have tried a beauty blender i have not tried my fingers i just feel like that's not really sanitary is that even a word it's that it's not too hygienic there you go. Um, so I have used it with a beauty blender and with a brush. With a beauty blender, you are going to, in my opinion at least, you do get a fuller coverage just because you're constantly patting the foundation in. With a brush, you can absolutely get a full coverage, but I find that you have to build up the product a little bit more. Undertones are perfect. They have a bunch of different undertones. They have cool, neutral, and warm or golden, and they're awesome. So I love cover effect. So next up, I actually have a powder foundation, and this is the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Powder Foundation. I am in the shade medium medium i have the shade medium 53 and it is my perfect shade i did get a color match in sephora and as you guys can see i have been loving this foundation because i have already hit pan it is bomb this foundation is super full coverage you can build it up to a very very full coverage the way that i like to use this foundation is i've actually been using it as my setting powder for my whole entire face so once i'm done blending in my cover effects cream foundation i actually go in with this particular foundation powder foundation and i grab the very big fluffy brush that i mentioned in my last favorites the morphe e41 and i just pat this all over my skin it gives me a little bit of extra coverage and it keeps my foundation in place all day which it's always a plus and i love this now 
be very, very careful when you use this particular product because if you use too much, you are going to look like a complete cake face. So just tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap on the side as well to remove any excess products and then just slightly sweep it all over your face. Do not go ham with this because it's not going to look cute. So use a very, very little of it because it's super pigmented and super high coverage. And I will continue to purchase unless I find something better. But I doubt it because Kat Von D knows what she's doing when it comes to coverage. And that's exactly what I need because I am a full-on coverage girl. Like there is no in-between with me. I either do nothing or everything. The next up, I have another powder, and this is the Josie Maran Argan Enlightenment Illuminizing Veil Powder. I've never heard anybody talk about this particular powder here on YouTube. Maybe somebody has. I haven't seen anybody talk about it, and I don't know why, because this powder is bombsky. I am so in love with this powder, and the way that I like to apply it is I like to use this all over my skin. This is an illuminating powder, but it's a very subtle illuminator. Like it's not like this crazy intense, I see you from space type of highlight. This is very, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Very mild. Um, so I love this powder. Let me swatch it so that you guys can kind of see. So I did swatch it on my hands, but I don't think the camera is going to pick it up because this is a very subtle powder it's not going to make your skin look oily or wet or dirty or sweaty this is just going to give you a natural youthful glow so what i like to do with this particular powder is after i'm done with my whole entire makeup application i'm talking about blush bronzer highlights everything i'm done with everything I take a really fluffy brush and I just kind of sweep this all over my face and kind of buff it in and this is going to help blend everything together and it's going to give you a very natural, beautiful, glowing skin. I love this powder. Oh my god, and I just dropped it. Oh my god. It's arrived! Next up, we have the Morphe 9C palette. So, I got this palette from... When did I get this palette? Oh, I got this palette in a BoxyCharm goodie bag. I went to a curation lunch with BoxyCharm. I, I got this a while back. I want to say in December. And this was in the goodie bag. And you guys, this is amazing. Like... This is such an awesome palette, such an awesome contour palette. This palette is so affordable and it is highly pigmented. Be very careful when you are applying these because these babies are crazy pigmented. The other day I went a little bit too crazy while wearing this palette and I looked like I was wearing a bronzer helmet. It was not cute and I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, did I seriously go out like this today because... This room that I'm in, it's a little bit dark, so it's very easy to go from 0 to 100 when applying bronzer. You get 9 powders, 9, 3, 6, 9, yeah, 9 powders, and they're awesome. You have some highlight shades, you have some bronzers and contour shades, and then in the middle right here, you have a powder that has a little bit of a sheen to it and then my favorite way to apply that is I actually apply it over my bronzer and it gives me a glowy kind of very summery I meant to say summery not like a summery do you know the difference summery summery anyways so it gives me like a very summery now I feel like I'm saying it weird it gives me a very nice Glow. So next up we have the Gwen Stefani. Um, this is the blush palette, Beauty with an Edge blush, blush, blush palette. This palette has been my holy grail palette recently. I even still have the little paper on my mirror because I don't want to ruin it. It's so cute. Like the packaging is amazing. The pigmentation, the color selection, this palette has it all. You have a kind of like a bronzer color, which I'm actually wearing today. You have two kind of highlight shades right here. 
this one and this one are kind of highlight shades I actually have a mixture of both of them in my cheeks today and then you have some blushes that are just incredible I'm actually wearing this one right here today I am obsessed with this palette but this palette I'm obsessed with like I'm probably going to buy another one for the day that I run out of this one I can still have it because I don't know if it's a limited edition item or if it's going to be permanent but this is so worth the money you guys like this is so worth it she did Gwen Stefani did an amazing and you can see my lights Gwen Stefani did an amazing job at selecting the colors in this palette because there's a color that's going to look beautiful on every single person like I am so in love with the palette I love the packaging love the consistency I love it all this palette is so good Next up, we have the ColourPop Where the Night Is Quad in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I have been so in love with this quad. I use this probably more than anything I own right now. Kathleen did such an amazing job at designing this palette and coming up with the colors. It is awesome. The shade Porter and the shade Weenie have probably been my most worn shadows ever since I received this in the mail. I literally wear this every single time I go out like I am so in love with this palette I think she did an amazing job at picking the colors I actually did notice that the formula on these is actually better than the color pop shadows I own already I feel like these actually stay on the lid they don't budge they don't crease and they are awesome I am loving this palette it is so good I'm so proud of Kathleen she's done an amazing job with all of her collaborations and I'm so excited for her and this did not disappoint this is awesome next up we have a pair of lashes and I actually have two different styles and I did mention these in the last makeup tutorial I did the dimensional metallic smoky eye I think that's the name of it and these lashes are from forever 21 they're only 390 and they are amazing I'm actually wearing a pair on my eyes right now so high quality and they're only three dollars and ninety cents can you die that is very affordable for a pair of lashes they're actually the type of lashes that if you take really good care of them you can actually reuse them because the lash band is kind of thick so it's going to be that type of lash that's going to last you a long time. You just have to, of course, take care of it. When you take it off at nighttime, put it back in this little box, take off any of the excess glue from before, and you should be good to go. This is my third time wearing the same pair, and they're probably still good for another two times, and I'm obsessed with them. The only thing that's super frustrating about these lashes is that they don't have a style name. If you want to take a look at them closer, go see my last video that I posted I'll have it somewhere up here so that you can click on it and watch it because I did talk about them a little bit more and I did show close-ups of the lash so that way you can actually take a picture of my video go to the store and look for them and I promise you you will not be disappointed because these lashes are bomb so moving on to lips I do have a couple of lipsticks to share with you guys but I wanted to instead of doing like a bunch of different lipsticks I want to do a specific color that I have been loving I have been so into pink lips as you guys can see I'm actually wearing pink lips today again I've been just been obsessed with pink lips recently and I know that you guys really like it because I did a video I believe it was the 10 drugstore versus high-end product that I filmed a while back wearing like pink lips and to this day I get so many questions on this specific combination of lipstick that I was wearing in that particular video so I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite pink lipsticks I have about four I try to keep it very simple I didn't want to overwhelm you guys with a bunch of different lipsticks so I'm going to show you guys my top four the one that I have been kind of going back and forth between so First off, I have a liquid lipstick. I have the Lip Blend Breezy Liquid Lipstick in collaboration with M. Breezy. This particular color, I think it's my favorite from the whole collection that she came out with. The only thing I have to say about these particular lipsticks is you need to add some sort of primer or some sort of lip balm under these because they are a little bit drying but other than that, they are amazing. And like I said, this is in the color Breezy and let me watch it for you guys this is more of like a pale pink type of color 
it is such a beautiful color I am so in love with this next up we have a milkshake by Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is a very nude pale pink not a lot of people would like this color but I love this color because I actually like to mix this color with other lipsticks so I will mix Reezy with milkshake I will mix Max Myth with Milkshake. I will mix a darker pink with Milkshake. I actually was wearing this particular color in that video. It's such a beautiful color. Like, this is like a statement type of nude. Like, if you want someone to just look at you, then Milkshake will be the lipstick to wear because it's very, very pale and very light once you apply on the lips. But it is so stunning. Like, I have a Valentine's Day look planned with this particular liquid lipstick that I cannot wait for you guys to see it because it's just so beautiful. So, that is a milkshake. Next up, I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Instam Inst Instambul? Instambul? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. But I actually had this particular shade mixed in with milkshake in that video that I filmed. And I have never received so many compliments in on a lipstick since that video. And it is this one right here. I've just been loving pinks, you guys. I love pinky lips. And spring is coming, and I'm just getting a head start. I am just so in love with this color. I'm, I'm obsessed. Next up, we have the shade Alexa from Alexa Persico Cosmetics. This is a true pink like this is like a barbie pink it is so gorgeous it's absolutely stunning i was actually wearing this before this lip combination but i thought it was too pink for what i'm wearing it made me look kind of off so i did switch it off but i've been loving this color it, again it's called alexa from the alexa persico cosmetics and then lastly i have a classic and that is max snob now this is the type of pink that it's again a very true pink this has a more purpley mauvey type of undertone it's this color right here but again it's a beautiful pink color and that's actually what i'm wearing on my lips right now with max oyster girl lip gloss right on top and it's just been my favorite combination recently i've just been on a pink kick i love it and last but certainly not least i feel like i have to mention these because these sunglasses, I get questions on them every single time I wear them. It doesn't matter if I wear them out in public. It doesn't matter if I wear them on Snapchat, on Instagram. I get so many questions on these particular sunglasses that I just have to mention them. And these are the Porsche Design Sunglasses. And this is what they look like on... Hi! <laughs> I love these glasses and they are a pretty expensive type of sunglass. Um, these are the actual sunglasses that Kris Jenner, Kylie Jenner, and all of them have in the Keeping Up With The Kardashians show. Um, I've had these for a while. I've had these for about a year now. And the really cool fact about these sunglasses is that you can actually pop out the actual glass part and change it for different colors. In the middle section right here, this actually kind of stands up and then these pop right out and then you can change the color. You could change the color of the lens to any color and the lens retail for 60 bucks so you can go to the Porsche design store, pick your favorite color and just kind of pop them in and out and just have different colors. I actually want to get the mirrored ones next. Um, I do have these and I also have them in blue and in black but I really want the ones that have the mirror um so let me click it back so that's it you click it back and that's it so it's really cool because i mean they are really expensive sunglasses but you can actually switch them out so you feel like you have a brand new pair of sunglasses every single time so i i love them i did get the ones with the white um I don't know what these are called, hardware, I guess. Uh, they have them every single color. They have black, brown, but I like white, so I got them in white, and they are just amazing. They're very big. They come in different sizes, but this is a size that I feel like matches my face better, and my mom uses them, my sister uses them, and we all just kind of have our own lenses, so we just it's just awesome. So, yeah, I have to mention that because I get so many questions on these. It's crazy. 
Alrighty you guys, so that completes the January favorites. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know in the comment section what have been your favorite products of this month. I'm actually going to go makeup shopping for drugstore products this week. So let me know in the comment section what drugstore products you guys want me to try or that you guys want to see on my channel or a first impression of any kind. Let me know because I do plan on doing a couple of drugstore videos coming up. So I am so excited for that because I do want to start incorporating more drugstore here on my channel. And that's it. I'm sorry if this video was a hot mess. I look like a hot mess. I feel like a hot mess. It's just a hot mess situation. So um, yeah, I will be back very soon with another video. I have tons of videos planned. I have two looks for Valentine's Day coming up that I am so so excited to film one is very sparkly and the other one is completely matte and very romantic so uh, yeah I love you thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon with another video